today I'm going to try to start taking this apart and see what we have here. take these rails off so I don't damage them. I think it's time we lose the exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold. Okay, so I just broke this clip off from here, but there's two hard lines that run into it, and I'll get those off. Hooray! Turbo's out. It looks very clean. So that's a good sign. Now it is melted to the top of some of these things. I think this is just going to be break it off slowly. Oh, that's awful. There is a bolt down there. Woohoo! It's all of that. It has a retaining ring. Might be able to replace this. It's got a retaining ring and a bearing. Uh, it still has an NSK part number on it, so possibly fix that. I'm 
assuming the fan assembly comes with a new one of these, but I'm not going to throw it away just in case. Good chance that may have melted on. I'm going to put a little force on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel comfortable putting more than that. I don't want to, don't want to dent that. So let's try to get the rest of the water pump off. There's the thermostat. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up for now. I'm gonna go watch the SpaceX Dragon take the first humans to orbit from a private company. Zero, ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. One out, Bob. And so rises Copy. a new One era out. of American space flight. And with it, the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friends at SpaceX and the rest of the SpaceX team who worked so very hard to make this possible. Thank you again. This is so awesome. I can't wait for the future of space flight. Two hours later. All right, so I've decided to drop the oil pan. After talking with my buddy, it will should give us a lot of clues if something maybe happened inside the engine of it overheating or something else. At least uh, might show some early signs of that. So let's dig into that. Definitely getting quite the smell. There's a white sludge in here. There's a chunk of something. A little pieces of something gritty in here. Don't feel any magnet. Injector. There we go. Looks like these red marks indicate up. Oh, there's still cooling in that. Oh, shit. Let's get the water pump off. Oops. Well, apparently that comes out.
That doesn't sound good. Tell me that's good. So this looks like it might be all right. It's just a heat exchanger. Looks like you can re-sleep guys. Looks like it might need a new sleeve in the bottom. That doesn't look terrible. Maybe it does wear like that because the top one is worn, worn in too. So it makes sense that's why they're pushing, pushing away from each other but maybe maybe that happened when it was dry. I don't know. See how it's worn in the top and bottom. The rest of it looks pretty good. Okay, so that seal is a little damaged from heat. So now that I have the engine torn down, I can really get a feel for what it needs. The engine part book that came with the Genie is a bit strange and a little hard to decipher when trying to figure out a part number. Here are a couple examples from the parts book. There are no pages that list actual part numbers, just these pictures. Once I gave up on that, I was able to go to the Deutz website and sign up for an account. Then that enabled me to use their ancient web tool to build a parts list for them to start the quoting process. While I'm waiting for that, I would love to hear some of your thoughts. Should I rebuild this engine? Is it worth it? Should I buy a new engine? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Till next time, thanks again for watching and please consider subscribing. Is it supposed to?
to be that rusty? Found somebody selling a really cute pony in Bakersfield. A really cute pony. So it could just be brought to us from like rich can go pick it up. Yeah. One of those drives to work. Yeah. They had their hair all braided like a My Little Pony.